1895 and a 336. What's the difference? Hey guys, Rob here from Hunt Shoot Off Road and today we're going to talk about what's the difference between the 1894, 1895 and the 336. And uh, this is a question I actually asked myself and uh, sort of tried to do a bit of investigation and it, it kind of the answer is not really there obvious like you think it would be and um, look this is the uh, 336 probably renowned for being the 3030 and um, typically six shot magazine uh, nine and a half or 20 inch barrel and uh, typically used by I think a lot of pig shooters and, and some deer hunters and um, then we've got the uh, over here Got the 1894, typically found in 44 Magnum, and uh, 10 shot tube, also with the 9 and a half or 20 inch magazine, and then the classic, the Gold Boy, the uh, 1894, most commonly found in 4570, the only government you can trust, and uh, both of these, this this is a, this is a new one, this is um. I think a Remington made one. Um, it does have the uh, cross bolt hammer there. I'm not even sure how that works. You know, it's got the cross bolt hammer. Uh, not cross bolt safety. Um, but both these other two, this, this is my dad's, the uh, 336 and 3030, that's my dad's. That's a, this is a proper JM barreled um, one, which a lot of people say that these are the best, but you know, We've only really got them because we've had them for a long time, not because we went and sought these. And then mine also is a, a JM model one as well. And so these are pre cross bolt, cross bolt, is that what they're called? <laughs> cross bolt safety. So the only safety on this is the hammer. So either hammer's forward or hammer's back. And that's it. And uh, I think that's almost the way they should be. But um, yeah, so really look, you know, without getting into the nitty gritty and telling you, you know, this has a flush bolt and, you know, there's different triggers and different hammers and different firing pins. Look, for the purpose of this video, I'm talking about for the purpose of hunting. And uh, look, all you really need to know is that the uh, 336, this comes in your rifle cartridges. So it only comes currently, I believe, in two cartridges which is the 3030, which would be the most popular, and the 35 Remington, which would be not that popular, I guess, um, at least certainly not here in Australia. I don't know too many people that, that shoot the uh, 35 Remington. So this one, as I said, 336, comes in the rifle cartridges. Then we'll look at the uh, 1894, and this comes in your pistol cartridges. So. I think you can get it in. You can get it in 44 Magnum and also 357 Magnum. Um, I think the 44 Magnum can also shoot 44 Special, and the uh, 357 can also shoot 38 in some instances as well. And obviously, and the other cartridge you can do is the uh, comes up in the 45 Colt, which I think is actually the 45 Long Colt as well. So all pistol cartridges. Um, that's really what the. Uh, 1894. Now I know that if you look there's some other details and all that sort of stuff like that but um, I didn't want to bore you with that information. It's probably not what you come to me for. I'm not always technically minded like that. And lastly is the, uh, this is classed as the big ball. The big ball for taking big balls. And uh, this can come in a triple four Marlin or the 4570 as I said, which is a straight walled um, rifle cartridge or buffalo round whatever you want to call it and um and look that's really the difference guys I, yeah there is differences with the internals and that but you can't you can't get a 336 in a 44 magnum so don't waste your time looking for a 336 in 45 magnum because you're not going to find one you're going to find a 336 in 3030 you're going to find an 1895 in 4570 and you're going to find an 1894 in 44 magnum that's all you need to know. You don't need to worry about the internals, you don't need to worry about all that other stuff. If you want, it's all about caliber selection. Whatever caliber you want, that's gonna determine what type of Marlin you're gonna buy. 
And look guys, that's it. I just wanted to answer a few questions that I've seen being kicking around and um, hopefully that helps you out and uh, stops you having to search for information that's not really applicable. And um, look, smash that knockout bell so you get notified when the next one is. And uh, also hit the, hit the thumbs up, give us a big thumbs up, appreciate it. Put a comment below, tell me all the other calibers you've seen these guns in and how I'm wrong and, and all that sort of stuff like that. Love to hear about it. And uh, make sure you get them big boars. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later, and I'll see you in the next video.